going to let you know about a new Your Pittsburgh tonight at 730 right here on KDK TV. Yeah, of course, I host the show with Susan Copen, who joins us now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Yeah, this is yeah. fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. In fact, Lee White, who we just interviewed, said she's looking right. forward to the show tonight, too. And the big name that's on the show, Smokey Robinson. Mm -hmm. Smokey Robinson. This was actually, I was a little awestruck because <laughs> you don't think that you're going to get to interview Smokey Robinson. Right. And so it turns out he has a Pittsburgh home. It turns out he's making wine in Pittsburgh that you can buy. And in fact, we have a little clip from this segment that we want to show you because it's, it, it was just cool. The two actually met in Los Angeles at a Bible study. They were just friends until some of their friends took them to a restaurant to celebrate their birthdays. They were both born on February 19th, and that's where they had some coconut shrimp. I called her about a week or so. I was getting ready to leave town about a week or so later and asked her if she wanted to go back to the restaurant and get some of those coconut shrimp because we enjoyed them. Just friends, you know. And that's how I started to tell her I'm married to her because of coconut shrimp. And then I tell you, <laughs> then the fun turned into love. Exactly. Like one of his songs, fun turned into love. Sing it. <laughs> And nowadays, popping a cork is music to their ears. So and sweet. That is his wife, Frances, and she grew up in Oakland, and that's why they have this Pittsburgh connection right. now. Oh, that's so, that is so cute. And uh, Susan, I have to tell you, I told David last week that my dream was to become a soap opera star. And I, I know I can't quite, <laughs> I, I know I can't quite do that. But there is a way for people, as David put it, who have little skill to become. <laughs> what, what did you say this morning? Little talent? No well, talent. Need any no. talent. <laughs> right. um, so so, quite yeah, so true. we were talking about being an extra in all these shows and movies that are being shot in Pittsburgh. And I said, David, we have to do a story on how do you become one of these extras? And so we found a local guy who has zero talent in terms of acting. <laughs> and uh, like he, previous experience, maybe is the best talent. Right. Uh, and he said, why not give it a try? And so he's been picked to be an extra. There he is on two different shows. Wow. And he taught me the ins and outs of what you have to do. How, that's him dressed up for his, uh, his shoot where he was in a bar scene. He taught me how to clink my glass without making any noise. And you're not allowed to talk when you're an extra. You're not allowed so to make- So are you pretending to talk? You're pretending to talk. And they just fill in the noise when they need it. Right. I and see. you you really have to be silent when you're an extra and it's really long hours. You do get paid and he said it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so <laughs> that'd be a neat experience. And we got to try top golf here on PTO. Mm -hmm. But it's getting cold, you know. And so that's the best part yeah, right? of top golf. You get to do it year round. And you get to eat there and drink, and drink there, there. And, <laughs> drink there. Um, and have a lot of fun and no skill necessary. Just ask David. Hey, I'm not sure I like how she set that up. But I like let's, the clip of you and Megan. Right, let's take a, a little look at this. As you can see from other Top Golf locations, they keep things going, and outdoor heaters help. When it's 30 and snowing, it's going to feel like 55, and we all know here in Pittsburgh that that's t-shirt and short weather, right? Okay, time for a little competition. David joins me for a showdown. We hit balls while the computer keeps track of how we do. Watch closely. Turns out, I need some work. Ugh. And David, well, he struggles too. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't so good. <laughs> But before long, we get the swing of things. Friendly yeah. competition. And of yeah. course, that's Megan Schiller who is reporting. Right, right. And we will tell you who won later tonight. Yeah, there was a little competition there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I know you guys love to eat for your Pittsburgh. So love like, to eat. Yeah, I know. I, that's like the, the one highlight that I... So we did something totally out of my comfort zone. I don't really eat seafood, so we went to the Merchant Oyster Company. And it's a they, bold choice if you don't eat seafood. Right? And so <laughs> the, the owner <laughs> came over and he said, all right, we're going to do this. So he taught us how to eat oysters. We had steamers. We had stuffies. And see the sandwich right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not seafood. It was ham and egg. And I ate every bite. I'm and sure. then was like licking my plate looking for more. Um, so Sounds it was good. delicious. He oh. is from the Jersey Shore, and he has made this place. It's not stuffy at all. It's oh, very it's so fun. Like you are at the beach on vacation, oh. and it's in Lawrenceville. It's in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. A great so. little spot on the corner, and they have you know cookouts outside. And so, do you like oysters? Are you in or are you out? 
I had fun doing it for the, uh, I, it wouldn't be my every day because I like to eat. Right. And I feel like that's just like a little fun thing but to the do. steamers, you tried, I had never heard of that before. It was so good. Yeah, the steamers were yeah. delicious. So much to look forward to tonight. Susan, thanks for joining us yeah, here. Yeah, thanks guys. So much fun. And again, you can watch both David and Susan tonight at 730 for a brand new episode of Your Pittsburgh.